The Lipizzaner, or the Lipizzan, is the oldest European purebred horse. Its ancestry goes as far back as the 8th century, and derives mainly from Spanish, or more precisely, Andalusian bloodlines. There are estimated 11,602 purebred individuals worldwide, with approximately 981 purebred in North America. Lipizzans represent over 450 years of careful breeding, founded upon selection of superb horses gathered from all over the world. They not only possess beauty and nobility, but also a rare combination of courage, strength, ability, temperament, and intelligence. Lipizzaners are of comparatively small stature with a long back, a short, thick neck, and powerful conformation. Whilst this breed has evolved greatly since the beginning of its lineage journey, it is still quite difficult to find the breed in more than a few countries, with import being rare and somewhat expensive. With all of this being put forward on this breed, one big question is to be asked. Did Star Stable do this breed justice? Did they complete what the community asked of them? Let's find out. Welcome to another horse review. I stopped doing these for a lot of reasons, but I'm glad I've returned. If you like these, try checking out my others and also giving this video a thumbs up. Lastly, if you'd like to join Star Stable at any time, use my link in the description. It helps me continue. Enjoy the video. Say there's gonna be a change Cause I feel like I'm just holding on to yesterday Spoilers were released about a new generation and model for the beloved Lipizzaner horse on Star Stable, marking nearly seven years of distance between Generation 2 and Generation 3. So you can expect there to be some controversy and discussion on these breeds. Y'all, I'm gonna say this right now, the controversy was insane. I saw threats, disgusting behavior, and I was so disappointed. I know that a large part of the community was reasonable and stated their opinions appropriately, but there also was a big portion that was just downright disrespectful to the team and to other creators. The Lip is Honors do have a lot of inconsistencies, but compared to a body and measurement graph, I'd say the breed is pretty well designed for a horse game. This breed is one of the most highly criticized breeds I have ever seen in SSO history, and that is saying something. I did appreciate how SSO released mostly gray variants for this breed though, usually you see them releasing a lot of unrealistic colors. Firstly, the coats. First we have the bay. Personally, I believe that this color is a little bit too saturated, but the coloring does look pretty nice with the mane. Then we have the black, dark dapple gray, light dapple gray, light gray, flea bitten gray, and rose dapple gray. So in short words, a lot of freaking grays. You can get each one for 950 star coins, which is a lot of star coins. If we add that up to 100 star coins us star riders get weekly, that's nine and a half weeks. That's a little over two months. Crazy. I decided to get two of these models because I didn't want to spend a lot of star coins just for one video. I know you all will understand. Meet Harpy and Scarlet. We have a good amount of mane styles. My personal favorite are the button braids and the short mane, but only on select coats. I feel like with any of the darker coats, it makes them look like they have a bull haircut. We also have the traditional tail. I think they did a pretty good job on this. Now onto my favorite part, the animations and gates. Yay, so happy. <laughs> I know a lot of the community is thinking the same thing. How could a company like Star Stable make this horse look so well designed and then have gates this far off? Personally, that was my biggest disappointment on the breed. Everything else is fine. The leg to body ratio is also majorly disproportionate, meaning the gates look even more off. I can't even defend these gates, though I do think that they could be fixed if SSO did implement new gates later. This is where it starts to get choppy. First, look at the limb to body ratio. Lippies are already chonks. Most of the breed is known for how bulky they are. Leg length to torso proportions? This makes all of the gates look extremely stiff and very poorly animated. The gallop? Actually, let me just show you my live reaction at 6.46 a.m. in the morning. You guys, what is this? What? <laughs> its front legs look like its back legs when it runs like this. I don't know if I can endorse this. 
Should I even be making a video about this? <laughs> now the jump. The front knees aren't that bad, but it's definitely the back legs that ruin the vibe. These different angles I got in photo mode show how SSO truly did this breed dirty. Yes, we do have a few good parts to the gates and people can seem optimistic, but the lippies deserved such better entrances to SSO with how long we have between Gen 2 and Gen 3. Now for the special animations. First, the lavade. This is a traditional and classic move, also known as airs above ground. You can achieve this by pressing X in walk, trot, or backing up. After watching a few videos, I think they did a pretty good job on this considering it's a fairly new animation style. Then, I believe it's in the passage? The passage? I don't know. It's not passage. I know that for sure, okay? I'm not about to disappoint the dressage community that much. This is also a dressage move where the horse's leg power is directed upwards instead of forwards and most of the back legs take the weight. This can be done holding the shift key on the walk gate and going up from there. I really do like this one, but there are some major animation problems with the back legs and the back in general. Do you see how the butt just goes non-existent? We go from Big Booty Judy to no butt at all. The capriol animation is another airs above ground inspired movement. This is a jump in place movement where the horse brings its front legs up and kicks out its back legs. This can be done by pressing space when the horse is at its standstill. I've seen a lot of educated lippy enthusiasts and people who work with the horses who say this movement is close to accurate. The back knees literally vanish. The rear is cute, but when you're moving and then you rear, it just shifts forward and looks really scuffed. The turns are neat, backing up is cool, but the slide stops. I don't know, it just doesn't fit, but it's not like this horse will be in western reigning shows, it just looks like it doesn't fit. With this breed, we got new saddle pads and Iberian saddles. These are traditional saddles used a lot in dressage of this type to provide good support and proper comfort for the sport. It's rare seeing SSO release a whole new saddle, so I'd say this is a win. Now for some good old community feedback. I asked on Instagram and also Discord for opinions, and you guys delivered. I left all identities anonymous to keep people safe. I like them. I feel like the gates are very rushed and the build is a little stocky. The trot is nice, walk looks a little odd, canter is decent, but then both gallops just look so weird. And the coat's nice variation, but the spots seem so sharp. Back to the build of the horse, to me it just doesn't look quite like the lip is on her. It looks like a Pergeron almost. They're so cute. I adore the coats and the special moves specifically, and I think that's what SSO spent the most time on. However, some of the gates are a little funky. Fast gallop and slow gallop are a little stiff, and the jump seems almost cut off, a little choppy maybe. Overall, I think they're not the best horses to come out, but obviously there's been some thought put into it. To be honest, I really adore the Lipizzaner. I love the coat colors, model, and the chunky bellies give them character. The only thing I'd say could have been worked on better was the gates and normal jump. <laughs> Somebody on Instagram literally just said, they're pregnant. The game has gotten way too expensive and I can't justify spending $20 for a horse. Breach. Honestly, I have mixed opinions on these horses. They aren't bad, just a little stiff, I guess. And now for my opinion. My final verdict after playing on the game with these lippies and also editing this video is I like the breed. I like how chonky they are. I know that a lot of people say that the lippy shouldn't look like this, but I like it. I like me a good chonk horse. Now that we've explored this brand new breed on SSO, what are your thoughts on it? Share your opinions in the comments and please remember that these are opinions. Someone may have one completely different from yours and that's okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Star Sable Horse review. I will see you guys in the next video or stream.